my gorgeous guys and ghouls and all you spooky queens in between. I'm so excited, so I'm just going to get straight to the point. Today, I am showing you the Animal Crossing Colourpop collection. If you know me, you'll know that I am a massive Animal Crossing fan, and as soon as I saw this collaboration was being made, I was like, yes, I need to get my hands on it any way possible. That is, That collection's going to be mine, and I bagged it. It went live at 6 p.m. on the day. I checked out at 5.59. The way that I'm going to be doing this video is slightly different to my usual kind of tutorial haul videos. Um, just because it's a full collection of things and like loads of different aspects of things, I felt like this would be the best way to showcase the products. So let me know down in the comments if this video was something that you enjoyed and the way I've done it, because it may be something that happens in the future. I am wearing... Uh, a couple of bits from the collection on my face today. Can you guess what they are? Let me know down in the comments what you think they are. But enough of my rambling, let's just get on to the collection. So, this is terrifying. So this is the collection. I'm very scared that everything's going to fall out. But the attention to detail on the actual packaging alone. So this is the box that it was mailed out in. And like, the message from Tom Nook everything i'm going to be keeping hold of that box because it's beautiful as i've said i filmed this video a little bit differently this time around just because i feel like it would best be showcased this way so this collection sold out instantly like ridiculously fast i was on the website at like half past five i think it was due to go live at 6 p.m um the 28th of january i believe it was i may be wrong i can't remember it's all been a haze since then. Um, but yeah, it was due to go live at 6 p.m. I checked out at 5.59. That's how like on the ball I was. I was not, not getting this collection. It has all currently sold out, but I've heard in the pipeline that there is going to be a restock at the end of this month, so the end of February. So if there's anything you like, be sure to get your email notifications on for when they restock and you'll be able to grab them. So first up, I'm going to show you the the little palette bookcase kind of thing. This is what they look like. This is how they come packaged. I honestly think this is the most adorable thing ever. And it's got Tom Nook, Isabel, Mabel, Sable, Abel, <laughs> um, Blathers, Celeste, Timmy and Tommy on it. And honestly, it is so adorable. I'm so in love with it. Oh my God. So as you take the palettes out, this is how they come out look so I'm just gonna take these out and this is what they look like so you get four in the collection and I'm just going to show you the palette now I will warn you that these are a little bit beat up now because I have filmed a look with them and I have done swatches with them so like they're already really well loved and I only received them today so this is the Nook Ink palette and I think this might have to be my absolute favourite out of them all. Because you know I am a sucker for those green shades. They are so beautiful. The shade made in the shade is absolutely breathtaking on the eye. And it's swatched beautifully. I'm just going to insert my look right here. So the plan that I went for whilst doing these looks was... There's four shades. I want to use all four shades. And I think I've achieved it with every single palette and you can achieve it with every single palette. Like there's something for your crease, there is something for your lid, there is something for your under eye, like the lower lash line, and there's something for your inner corner. So you can have a look just out of the one palette and I feel like that's what I've achieved. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I have posted swatches of these palettes. Um, I'm kind of making my way through them i do want to have a product shot a swatch shot and then a look of my look that i achieved with it um so as and when they go up kind of thing if you're seeing this you're getting the early sneak peek so but again here are my swatches just for a, a more reference kind of thing for you honestly like this is my first ever color pop products and i'm blown away by the pigmentation of them I've heard a lot of people complaining that the price of these palettes individually on their own is the same price as their nine pan palette. And honestly, it doesn't 
bother me at all because I've never really bought into the thing of their other collections but I didn't mind paying the same price as a nine pan for these because they're Animal Crossing like if you know me Animal Crossing has been my savior through lockdown but yeah the next palette is La Belle of the Ball and this is the gorgeous Able Sisters palette this is a lovely purple palette and this one down here which is called Custom Design, is a beautiful duochrome shift. Here is the look that I did with said palette. I am honestly, like the green one and the purple one have sold this entire collection for me. In fact, I love all of them, but the green and purple one, so Nook Ink and La Belle of the Ball, they are my favorite of the collection because green and purple just does something to me, okay? Again, using only the four shades, you can make a very simple but very striking look with these palettes. I particularly like that you get a matte, you kind of get like a matte shimmer kind of thing. You get a straight up shimmer and then you get a pressed glitter. So as I said, I ran, um, in both of them, I ran the matte through the crease. I then put the shimmer on the lid. I put the like kind of matte shimmer is what I would call it. I don't even know what it's called. But yeah, I did that on the lower lash line and then I did the glitter on the inner corner on every single look that I did. And you can get a decent look out of these. These are my swatches of the palette again, so you can kind of see a bit more like of the colours kind of thing. I feel like I haven't looked at the videos yet as I'm filming this, so I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. The next palette is Waterhoot and it's got our boy Blathers and his sister Celeste on there. And this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful nude palette and like with golden tones in it. And honestly, this was so, so surprising to me. I'm very far from a neutral kind of person. I want palettes to give me that prop. I want palettes to give me that proper pop and like if I'm wearing eyeshadow like majority of the time I just wear eyeliner so if I'm wearing eyeshadow I want you to be able to see the eyeshadow like I want insane in your face bright colors and this palette even though it's a neutral palette still looked bomb so here's the look I achieved and again I can't complain I'm still so in love with this palette. I say still like I've had it ages. I've literally not even had it 24 hours. I received it this morning. <laughs> but honestly, the shades are absolutely stunning. And like the shimmers, this is all a flutter. They're just like butter. I have never known a formula perform like it. They are incredible. They are so beautiful. I'm just gonna rub them on my trousers like a scruff. And here are the swatches with the stencils that I did. I do just want to say that the stencils were all designed by Ali at Swatch Perfect. I do have a discount code with them. It's just Chantel. I'll leave it on screen here for 10% off of your orders. And honestly, like as soon as I bagged the collection, I ran straight over to Ali's DMs and I was just like, look, you've never let me down before. I need Animal Crossing stencils. I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. And she absolutely smashed it out the park to the point that it inspired her to create even more stencils to build a collection that she has now got for sale on her site. They are limited edition made to order ones because obviously they're kind of like a niche little category. But as she said in an email that I believe is sent out if you're on Swatch Perfect's like emailing list, you don't necessarily have to have this collection to do the stencils. Like you can just love Animal Crossing and want to use any palette. You could think, right, okay, so my favorite character is Flick. So I'm going to buy the Animal Crossing stencil and I'm going to do a red swatch square kind of thing with my different, my favorite different red shades. And this is gonna be Flick's color palette kind of thing. Like you can literally do anything you want with these stencils. It doesn't have to be with this collection. Then last of the palettes, I'm, mm, this is probably my, not my least favorite because it is still beautiful, but it's gonna be the one that I reach for the least. I just feel that it's a little bit too girly for me. Here is the look that I achieved using this palette. And it is, it is still so stunning. And again, I'm gonna keep repeating myself while I say that. I'm on the last palette of the collection kind of thing. You've got the four shades there to create a look. So I've got Island Tune up on the crease. I've then got Isabel on the lid, Resident Rep on the lower lash line, 
and island designer on the inner corner. So you can create a look with these quads. Oh, you could even mix and match all four of the quads and make something even better. I just wanted to showcase them as they were kind of thing. Again, here are my swatches using the Swatch Perfect stencil. I mean, they are, they are beautiful. They really are. And they're huge pans, like huge swatch pans. So you can really see the product and just, I'm obsessed. So next up in the collection, what I'm going to show you is the blushes. I really, really, really love one of the blushes. And let me see if you can guess which one it is. So these are the two blushes and this one is called Flower Tender and this one is called Flower Power. So we've got Flower Tender on this cheek and we've got Flower Power on this cheek. I am a coral blush girl. So this one steals it for me. Let me just show you what they look like. So this one here is Flower Tender and it's got the gorgeous windflower pattern embossed into the pan. Like the attention to detail is remarkable and like this is stunning. It blends out beautifully, but it's like, it's pigmented, but it's not pigmented enough that when you put it on, you're just like, oh my God, what have I done? Like it's buildable and you don't need a lot, but you can kind of add to it if you want to. These are the swatches of what I've done. Obviously this has got both of the powders on it. So whilst I'm doing this, I'll show you the other one. So this one is Flower Power. As you can see, it is a lot more of like a pinky color than the other. And again, this one, it's nice. It is really beautiful, but it's just not my shade. I'll get use out of it still, because obviously I have it. So they are the two colors that you get. So once again, we have Flower Tender and flower power. I'm a little bit good because I've just found out on Twitter and Facebook and stuff that I was supposed to get a little DIY card and I didn't get the DIY card. But I got some adorable little stickers. So next up, I'm going to be showing you the Bellionaire Glittery, Glitterly? I'm going to be showing you the Bellionaire Glitterly Obsessed, um, like it's like a jelly glitter. I have it on my inner corners today and oh, it's so beautiful. So obviously it's got the little bell bag on it. That sounds so awkward to say. And then around on the other side, it's like raised details of the, what have we got? We've got the coin with the stars on and then the little Animal Crossing leaf as well. So again, that attention to detail. And this is the pot. I'm sorry if it blinds you, but again, it's just a giant coin on the top and the see-through pot. And the consistency of this is so bizarre because it's like gold flakes, but it's a gel. Like, can you see? It's very very bizarre but so beautiful and whilst i'm kind of cleaning this off my hand i will show you the swatches so this is what i swatched again the stencil from my girl ali she delivered it i wanted to go outside of the stencil with these swatches because i just felt like you quids in like do you know what i mean like the bells you want to be rolling in the bells me personally i'm so close to like two million bells in my savings on animal crossing Paid off all my loans. I've like my island's five star. It looks beautiful. Like, yes. Next up, we have the ColourPop Balloon Pop Super Shock Shadow. So it just comes in a tiny little present box. And like, is that not the most cutest thing ever? Just be a little balloon. Shh. I have this on today as highlight. It is a little bit too dark. And it does have a slight cast. Well, I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not complaining. The packaging. We're going to focus. Has got the Colourpop um, Animal Crossing collaboration name kind of thing around the outside. And the Animal Crossing leaf on the lid. And on the inside, this is what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. It's, oh, it's so beautiful. So let me just give you a quick swatch there look is that not stunning again here is the proper swatch it was a present box so I asked Ali for a present box now the last three 
lots of items there's technically six but the last three boxes kind of thing i am going to be swatching live on here with you i have done the stencil swatches as well but i wanted the video to have some kind of testing element to it like a live testing thing for this section it is the lip tints what are they called yeah just a tint mini duos and in each kit you get two lip tints in different colors so we have the fruit basket one which has got juicy apple and cherry cherry in we have got fruit roots which has got peach surprise and orange cutie in and then we have got pick of the bunch oh focus there we go and then we've got pick of the bunch which is coconut juice and incomparable Aww. now let me tell you when i swatched these i was like wait, wait. Like, I sniffed, I was like, oh, they smell amazing. And it wasn't until I'd got about three of them in that I was like, they all smell like the fruit that they are named after. They're incredible. So, like, even if you cannot get anything else, get these, okay? Get these. They're amazing. They smell incredible. They're beautiful. So, first up, I'm just going to show you the swatches that I did. And what I did with these swatches was I obviously did them per pack. So this one here is Fruit Roots. This one here is Fruit Basket. And this one here is Pick of the Bunch. Let me tell you, trying to swatch lip tints is not easy. So just be appreciative. But stencil swatches. We're going to go in now and use these on my lips. Okay. So we're going in with the Pick of the Bunch set first. And I'm going to be using the shade Incomparable. The little tubing has the Animal Crossing logo on it. And the lid is little pears. How cute is that? So it's got the twisty twist. I'm just going to pop this on. And like this isn't supposed to be super opaque. It is a lip tint. Oh my god, but it's super moisturising. That feels amazing. Oh, I've just dabbed it on my nose, sniffing it. <laughs> so this shade is incomparable. This shade here, with the little coconuts on, is coconut juice. So it's a slightly darker, like, nudie brown. If my foundation around my lips get a, gets a little bit ratchet, just ignore it, okay? You can see what I'm doing. It's not going to stay pretty, okay? So then the next box I'm going to be doing is the Fruit Roots box. And this has got Peach Surprise and Orange Cutie in. So this shade here is Orange Cutie. I think this might be my go-to one. Like if they do this in a bigger one or if I can get my hands on this kit again, I may have to stock up on this. I've got glitter on my lip down here. How long has that been there? <laughs> but this colour is beautiful. Okay, but I also like this shade as well. So I think this box in general, the Fruit Roots box is going to be my favorite so this one is peach surprise hold up so this one here is peach surprise so this set is just a gorgeous like orangey nudie shade range and i'm here for it and then the last box that i'm going to be doing is the fruit basket which comes with juicy apple and cherry cherry so this one oops we all it around this one is shade cherry cherry this set I probably won't get that much wear out of. I mean, the colours are beautiful and again, the smells are stunning. I'm just not a keen red lippy lover, so. Ugh, the smell. The smell of the juicy apple one. So this is the shade. I've got glitter all up around my face and probably smushed lipstick and stuff. Lip tint, sorry. But I don't care. <laughs> This smells insane. This smells so, so good. Oh my God. <sighs> I'm going to leave this one on now. So that was all of the lip tints. And that is the last of the collection. Is it not all dope? Is it not all the best thing you've ever seen in your life? Like, I'm so glad I got my hands on this collection. And I am so obsessed with it all. Um, I just want to kind of add this extra little swatch into the end. Because it didn't fit in near the beginning and it's this one i asked ali for a large 
Animal Crossing logo stencil so I could swatch all the palettes together and this is what I'm saying that you could mix and match the palettes to kind of make your own look whereas I've gone for each palette individually to create a look as you can see the colour story of all four together is beautiful and you will get something really really nice with it let me know down in the comments if this kind of layout of video was something that you enjoyed I mean I don't know when I'm ever going to have a full collection of anything again to warrant filming to this extent but I kind of like the the layout I don't have to do makeup tutorials all the time kind of thing you know I kind of do the same glam look all the time with the um cut crease packed lid so there's only so many times you're gonna want to watch it that's why I didn't bother doing it on here and plus I had to do it four times so I just kind of did one eye one eye one eye one eye my eyeballs are burning now, okay? Like taking it off and putting it back on again and then taking it off to put this on as well. So the dedication, you see what I do for you guys? Like, did you manage to get your hands on any of the Animal Crossing ColourPop collection? If so, let me know down in the comments what you managed to pick up. I'm so, so, so thankful that I managed to grab the full collection. It was sold out in literally like minutes. Like I was watching Colourpop's Twitter and they were kind of updating as things were selling out. So I know that quite a few of the palettes, I think it was La Belle of the Ball, sold out first because everyone was so hyped about that. And then the full collection sold out completely by about quarter past, quarter past six. So like 15 minutes and it all sold out. Um, as I said, I do believe that they are restocking it at the end of this month, if not the start of next. So the end of February, start of March. I haven't seen definitive dates on this yet. I just know that a restock is coming. They have stated that a restock is coming. And I can highly, highly recommend it. As somebody who's never tried Colourpop before, to have such a splurge on one order with the risk of like, oh my God, is it going to be good? I'm so happy it was this collection. Like no other collection i was so tempted with the sailor moon one and now that i've got this i might have to get the sailor moon one because i'm obsessed but so that might be one that i film later on if that's something you would like i don't know let me know down in the comments but it would be the full collection again like this because it's so beautiful and i love it Please do remember to like, comment and subscribe on this video and turn on that bell notification so you are notified every single time I upload. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. I aim for 6pm but sometimes life gets in the way as you do. And on that note, that's it from me and I shall catch you on the next one. Bye!